So I have the world famous Sandy Monroe here and a lot of people are standing behind me. Say hello to everybody. Okay, so we first off, we'd like to thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, all the thank way down. Thank you for inviting me. Um, I know you have uh, a lot to do right now, but I just want to ask you just a quick couple of questions. Sure. In some of your teardowns, what have you found to be one of your biggest surprises or your least surprise of a car? Okay, so on a Tesla, the biggest surprise for me <clears throat> was the uh, tremendous integration that they have for electronics. The electronics bay in uh, all the cars that we've analyzed are just stunning. Mm -hmm. They're uh, they're as good as anything you're going to find in uh, in rocket ship technology or space uh, like sp space types of e uh, equipment. Uh, it it was just uh, it was just dazzling. We never saw anything like it. From the Model Three, uh, the the first Model Three we've taken apart and everything else in between. It's all been absolutely uh, phenomenal. And that's the biggest thing. Um, as far as the as far as the low end, uh, I guess I guess I don't spend as much time looking for things that aren't uh, aren't aren't very you know very good. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I guess the uh, the only thing that would be I, I have a lot of criticism uh, for Tesla because of the uh, the number of parts being used, yeah. and then uh, Elon uh, decided. Hey, guess what? Uh, maybe that's a good idea. And then they turned out with the mega castings. So at the end of the day, uh, that was the thing that I thought was the worst on the car. And it turns out that now it's it's the thing that everybody is trying to do. So uh, Tesla has uh, Tesla's ordered 12 uh, vehicles, uh, or sorry, 12 uh, presses from Idra, the guys in Italy. Okay. And uh, and their parent company, which is in China, is making um, I can't remember it's six or sixteen more, and that's for Chinese car companies that are going to be doing exactly the same thing. So one gigantic front module, one gigantic rear module, and then something to connect them together. So uh, so those would be the two uh, the two things that I think are the most most dramatic, I guess. Okay. Any expectations for the plaid that you're about to tear down? What are you, uh, looking, what are you looking forward to seeing once, once you get that? The electric motor, the electronics, the uh, wiring systems. Um, I want to see. Uh, <clears throat> I want to see what they've done that's been unique um, and different. Um, I know that they've got uh, electric steering, which is not uh, the same as uh, it's not the same as uh, as drive-by wire. But I want to see if they've made, uh, like we can usually tell what a company is going to do uh, in the future. So sometimes they put one thing out, but they know that down the road they're going to make a modification. And that modification is going to be uh, something that they bring to the marketplace later after they've done more testing. We can usually spot that, and that's what we're going to look at here. Uh, we're with the, uh, with the, uh, the, the, uh, the plaid. Um, I'm also uh, very interested to find out what what techniques or technologies that they've uh, they brought from the other vehicles that they're that are on the road, like the three and the Y, uh, into uh, into the Plaid. Uh, I want to see what the what what new uh, system they've got for uh, for heating and cooling. I'm going to assume that it's going to be an octo valve kind of a product, but I I'm not sure. But I want to see. Um, we've we've uh, we've already hinted or not hinted but guessed at a, a bunch of things that we're hoping to find It'd be great if the thing was loaded with 4680 batteries I'd be blown away by that but uh, I'm not expecting that I don't think I don't think they had time to uh, to make that kind of a change but I'm sure there's surprises in there I'm just not sure what they might be yet. and last question if you yeah. had the cyber truck yes I know you want to jump all over that I am, uh, but not the first one because the first one belongs to me. I uh, that's probably I'm going to be swapping my uh, my Jeep uh, uh, Rubicon. I have a Jeep Wrangler uh, Rubicon. That's what I've been driving since <clears throat> since uh, I don't know 2011 or something like that. And I don't swap cars very quickly, but uh, but that's going to be uh, that's going to be traded in on a, on a Cybertruck. The second one that comes in. We'll tear that one apart, and um, and quite frankly, what I'm looking at is how do they integrate the uh, stainless steel body to the uh, how do we uh, how do they integrate that into the uh, the uh, 
die castings, the mega castings uh, for the bottom of the bottom of the truck. I'm also going to be looking to see whether or not they decided to take and put the seats and uh, the wire harnesses and everything else, bolt them to the uh, bolt them to the uh, battery uh, tray, and then bring that whole thing up into the car. I think that that's brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and I'm hoping that that's what I'm going to see when I get my cyber truck i think that's what that's that's, that's what we're going to find all right well thank you again for stopping by on another edition of conversations from the front good luck to you in the future thank you thank you thanks so much Bye.